Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna be filming a clothing try-on haul because I did a bunch of shopping the past two months that I've been in lockdown. So I thought I would share it with you guys because I got a lot of bikinis and workout clothes and just summer clothes in general. So yeah, let's just get right into it and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is from Urban Outfitters. I got two swimwear from them. And the first one is this Out From Under Tia Tai Front Bikini Top. This is super cute. It's in a little floral design pattern. It has a little tied knot in the front, which is super cute. And this one I got in a size small. And originally it's $49, but I got this for $34. It's really nice material and super good quality. I think this print might actually be sold out, but I'll try to find it and link it below. But yeah, this is the first bikini that I got. So moving on to the next item from Urban is this Erica Scoop Neck One Piece. And this one I got in a size X small. I got it for $39, which is on sale from its original price of $79. I would say this is extremely flattering for my body because I love the cutouts on the side and on the back. It makes my legs look super long. But the one thing I actually don't like about this is the fact that it is not lined. So your nipples will show really easily. So if you're into that, that's fine. If not, maybe reconsider getting this. And the front of this shirt is actually extremely scooped low. So for me, I might have had to size up to a small instead. Overall, it's nice. And there are little adjusting straps on the back in case you want to adjust it. Yeah. The last thing I got at Urban Outfitters is this oversized t-shirt dress. This is a one size fits all and I got it for the original price of $39. Um, keep in mind that this is a t-shirt dress, not just an oversized tee, so it is going to run really long. I thought it was going to be a shirt and I didn't realize how long it was until after I got it and tried it on. But it's not too bad. Quality is the same as every other band tee that they sell at Urban. Overall, it's great. Let's move on. So the next place that I shopped at was Levi's and they were having a huge sale. So I obviously took advantage of it. And the first thing that I got from them are these 501 high rise shorts in the color Natural Instinct. This one I got in a size 26. And normally these cost $50, but I got them on sale for $18.55, which is super cheap. And for some reason, I'm going to say that this thing runs big because I got the same shorts, but in black. This one I also got in the same size, 26. And this one I got for $26.07. For some reason, these are true to size and they fit me perfectly. But the Levi's white ones are a little big. You might want to size down on the natural instinct if you do get that one. The last thing that I got from Levi's are these wedgie fit are these wedgie straight fit jeans and this one let me just say it's my first time getting their wedgie jeans and i love it this one i also got in a size 26 and the length is also 26 i kind of wish they had a shorter length because i'm on the shorter side but that's fine i got these on sale for 51 dollars normally they're about a hundred dollars so yeah i got them super cheap and this one fits true to size definitely and because they're the wedgie jeans they make your butt look really nice the bottom also has a little cut off which i like it's a little cropped so yeah these jeans are perfect if you haven't gotten it you should definitely invest in a pair of these i'm not sure if they're still on sale but yeah i'm gonna link it down below okay moving on now to the next store i got this top shop high waist denim skirt from nordstrom and these i got in a size us4 i got them for 37 dollars 50 normally they're about 50 dollars. so yeah i got these on sale okay this is also non-stretch denim and it's extremely high-waisted without being too short i think these are just perfect for casual everyday wear so yeah i got these at nordstrom let me take these out of the bag so the next thing I got from Nordstrom is the Frankie's Bikinis set. This one is the cold top in brownie and the bottom is actually not the cool bottom but it's the Enzo bottom and I got this also in brownie. Both of these I got in a size small. The thing about this top is that I got it for $67.50 normally on the actual Frankie's Bikinis website. These are $90 so 
yeah, I know, super expensive. It runs tight when you put them on, but I would say it's really high quality, which it better be if I'm going to spend over $100 on a pair of bikinis, you know? The bottoms that I got are not actually the Cole bottoms. It's actually the Enzo bottoms. They also, this one is also in the color brownie. I got this in a size small, and I got this one for $63.75. On the website, it's $85 originally. So yeah, this was also on sale. These fit me perfectly, but they are a bit on the cheeky side, which, you know, not everybody prefers. I can't wait till lockdown is lifted so I can try both of these on and wear them at the beach. But yeah, got these. Okay, so the next place that I shopped at was Adidas. And the first thing that I got from them is this spaghetti strap top. Looks like this. I got this in a size X small and it was on sale for $14.70. Originally, it's about $30. And I'm just gonna say that this runs so big. Originally, I purchased a small and I had to exchange it because this top right here is extremely wide and the crop top itself is loose fitting. So yeah, I'd recommend sizing down for this one. Overall, it's really cute. I like it. I think it's perfect for the summer. So the next thing that I got from Adidas are these 4-inch shorts tight. Are these 4-inch short tights. And this is a size small. I got them for $21. Originally, it's $30. And it does run a little tight, and it is a little small, but I think it's supposed to be because they are for working out. Um, one thing about this that I love is that it makes my butt look really nice. So there's that. If you don't want it to be too tight, I'd recommend sizing up. Next. So, the next place that I purchased workout clothes from is from Athleta. I got these two Inclination Moto tights. And I got one in olive and one in blue. I got them both in the size X small and length regular, even though I should have gotten a petite, but they were all sold out. They I got these both for $75, which is just their original price. And I'm gonna say that their quality and design are so nice on these. But they do run a little tight, even though my size guide says that I should be an X small. Um, I prefer to get the small only because they fit more comfortably on me. But if you're into super tight tights, then I'd recommend just getting the size that's recommended. Lengthwise, I wish that they would have had the petite, but unfortunately it was sold out. So I had to get the regular length. Overall, I really like these shorts. I mean, these tights. And I do like the little design that they have on the tights, which is super cute. Yeah. Next thing that I got is this Salutation Stash Color Block Tights. And these I got in the small petite. So this fits me perfectly. I got this for $78.40. Originally, these are $90, I believe. Um, the sizing is perfect. I love the design. These I would compare to my Lululemons that I have because these are so, so comfortable. I can't even emphasize how comfortable these are. Moving on, I also got this Synergy Rib Zip Bra. So this is a sports bra that I purchased from Athleta and this I got in the size small for $18.74. Originally, I think these are $25. Um, has a little zipper in the front. Okay, sizing for this is perfect and I love the design. I feel like these are so comfortable and they do have a little slight of padding in it so that your nipples aren't showing through. The only thing about this one that I got is that it is a little worn out. I don't know if you can tell on camera. Hold on. Let me try to get it to focus. Okay, so it is a little worn out on this edge right here and I'm not... It keeps focusing on me. Focus... Okay, there we go. So it's a little worn out on these edges and these are supposed to be brand new. So that's the one thing I am probably going to call them about and see if I can exchange them. But I love how this looks. This is perfect to just wear out when you're just wearing a sports bra with just with the workout leggings. So like hiking or to a workout class. Super cute. Love this. The next thing I got is more is also a sports bra, but this is on the plain side. This is just a plain black sports bra. It's the Hyper Focus bra. So this Hyper Focus bra, I got in a size small and I got them for $36.75. Originally, these are about $50. They come lightly lined and it has a little pocket on the inside for you to put your own liner in if you don't like the one that it comes with. 
Um, it looks really plain, but it is the most comfortable sports bra I have ever owned, hands down. Highly recommend getting workout clothes from Athleta. I love it. This is obviously not sponsored. I have like 60 subscribers. But yeah, last but not least, I got these two core controlled thongs from Skims, which is Kim Kardashian's underwear, or no, Kim Kardashian's shapewear line. I got them both in black. I got one in the size XX small slash X small, and I got one in small slash medium. So the recommended size on their website for me is the XX small slash X small, but I highly recommend sizing up because it's really tight. So let me just open this and show you what it looks like. This is the XX small and the X small one. You can see, look how small this is. It's like, okay, it's a little bigger than my face, but it's like the size of my face pretty much. As you can see, they are so tiny. So the bottom part down here, this is the part that goes up your butt and is so small. The front is also so small. In terms of keeping it in, it does make my waist look extremely tiny, especially when I'm wearing it under a dress, but I would say size up. FYI, I'm just going to have to blur the try on, otherwise I'm going to get flagged on YouTube because it shows a little too much. The core control part does work because it does keep my stomach like super sucked in and my waist looks so tiny when I'm wearing this but it's so tight and I just can't get over the wedgie that I get. So yeah, keep that in mind when you're purchasing. I would highly recommend size up. I have both the XX small and the small and the small just fits me so much better. They're way more comfortable. I don't know. Just trust me and size up because they're, they're both tiny either way and you can't really tell like a huge difference between them. Overall, I would recommend it if you haven't tried shapewear. That is everything that I bought in terms of clothing for the past two months. I know I did a lot of shopping, but you know what? That's okay because I haven't been going out. That's what I've been telling myself anyways. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.